Infoco application for discharge review dismissed. Former Vice President Felikezel Mfoko, who is being charged with criminal abuse of office, had his application for review against the magistrate's decision to dismiss his application for discharge at the close of the state case dismissed by the High Court. Mfoko was arrested some months after the November 2017 coup that removed the late former President Robert Mugabe from power. He was accused of storming a local police station demanded the release of two Zimbabwe National Road Administration officials Moses Juma and Davison Noropairai who had been detained by the police for corruption. High Court Judges Justices Benjamin Chikowero and Pizarre Quendet dismissed Foko's application and ordered that his case should proceed to trial. Foko had applied for a review of Magistrate Tronos Utawash who refused to discharge him at the close of the state case. He is facing criminal abuse of duty as a public officer and an alternative charge of defeating or obstructing the course of justice. Justices Chikawero and Quenda in their ruling said there were no exceptional circumstances justifying the High Court interference with the unterminated proceedings pending before the lower court. According to court papers, on July 13, 2016, Mfoko intentionally acted contrary to or inconsistent with his duties as a public officer for the purpose of showing favor to Juma and Noropairai by appearing at Evandale police station where he ordered the duo's release from police custody. In his defense, Mfoko said in requesting the police to release Juma and Noropairai, he was executing an order by the late former President Robert Mugabe based on top state secrets. Believing that harm would befall Juma and Noropairai if they spent the night in police cells. Mfoko denied that he violated any law saying all he did was to execute an order given by the now late Mugabe by merely making a request for the release of the duo from police detention. He also told the court that after the request, the police through their protocol released the duo. However, Magistrate Utawash in his decision to refuse to discharge Mfoko said legally a vice president could not interfere with the police in their work. The magistrate said presenting himself at Evandale police station to an inspector who is of the lowest commissioned rank in the force requesting the release of Juma, constituted engagement in conduct that is inconsistent with the duties of a vice president. The magistrate further ruled that Mfoko should explain his conduct in the defense case saying it was his own admission that he requested for Juma's release from custody. Magistrate Utawash had ruled that Mfoko was there intentionally and acted intentionally in the act or omission. Was the release done after the accused had intervened with his request for the release of Moses Juma at Evandale police station? The answer is in the affirmative. Both Zach, Zimbabwe Anti-Corruption Commission, and the ZRP had detained the two suspects to appear in court on the following day. It was the accused request that triggered the release of the two suspects, Utawash said in his ruling. However, the High Court judges said in invoking the law relating to interference by a superior court with the course of unterminated proceedings pending before an inferior court. There ought to exist rare or exceptional circumstances calling for the court's interference which circumstances could not wait until the trial is completed. Foucault had also listed his grounds for review against the lower court ruling saying Magistrate Utawash made the ruling without consulting the Constitution of Zimbabwe. Please like, comment, share and follow this channel for more information or updates on news and entertainment.